On April 7th, the Creek Catfish Swim Team of Friendswood and the surrounding area held its annual registration. The registration took place from 9 o'clock a.m. until noon at the Friendswood Volunteer Fire Station. Coaching the team is Becky McCall, and the assistant coach is Tracy Haken. Ms. McCall has been a high school competitor and a college swim team coach, a U.S. swim team coach, and a previous summer league swim coach. Ms. Haken has participated in competitive swimming as a member of this team and a member of the high school swim team. Good luck to all those who join. The girls' PE classes are doing two new units, basketball and track. The units began during the last two weeks. Ms. Ostergreen and Ms. Godwin have, do have had student teachers since the beginning of the year. They now have another new student teacher named Ms. Gibson. She has been helping with exercises and teaching different skills in the two current event units. The main thing Ms. Gibson has been doing is taking kids out of class who need to make up presidential. We should all wish her good luck when she leaves for helping the people who needed to make up presidential. The third period PE class has just finished a unit on gymnastics. Lois Brown went Lois Brown event to see what they did. I went to the girls' gym to find out what happens during gymnastics. What have you learned so far in gymnastics? Learned to work with the beam and the bars better. Do you find gymnastics difficult or easy, and why? Easy, because you can do whatever you want. Do you enjoy gymnastics, and why? Yeah, I guess, because it's easy. What do you try to teach the students in gymnastics? Well, we go through the different apparatus that we have, and those are the uneven bars, the beams, and the vault. And we teach them different stunts, mounts, and dismounts on those. What do you enjoy most about teaching gymnastics? Well, I like to see how the kids progress. Say, at the first day, some of them couldn't even turn a forward roll, and then the next day they're doing flips and back bends, and it really is nice to see how they can progress in the in the unit. The equipment used in gymnastics are the horse, the bars, the beam, and the mats. Most of the kids enjoy gymnastics because they can do mostly what they want, although it is somewhat restricted. Thank you, everybody. This has been Lois Brown for MCS News. Last Friday and Saturday, the Friends with Little Dribblers All-Star team played in their second tournament in Bryan. The team played four games and lost one. The last game of the tournament, they won with a score 36-33. to Tyson Maroney, having 11 points, and Christian Thompson, scoring 20, were the top main scorers in the game. The team will now move on to Denver City, Texas, where they will play another 10 games. If they are victorious there, they will move on to Seattle for the Nationals. Christian Thompson is on the Friendswood Little Dribblers All-Star basketball team. So far, they are still practicing, but seem to be confident about this year. Ben Walker filed this report. I'm here with Christian Thompson to talk to him about the All-Star basketball team. How long have you been playing basketball? Four years. Is basketball a favorite sport? Yeah. Well, why? I just like playing it. Where are you most useful on the court? Under the basket. Well, why is that? Uh, I just get the ball and jump up and... It's just easier that way. How well is the All-Star team doing this year? Pretty good. We haven't played yet, but we're learning our plays and practice. What do you think of your teammates? They're good. They're the best picked out of the league. With your talents, do you think you can do well in major competition? If I try hard enough. Thank you, Christian. This has been Ben Walker for MCS Sports. Baseball season has just started. It has been going on for a couple of weeks. No real games have been played, just scrimmage games. Teams are practicing all over Friendswood, getting ready for the season to start on Monday. About two weeks ago, players were given 48 candy bars, 24 with almonds and 24 without. They were to be sold at a dollar apiece. The top seller of the team gets a sports bag or a watch. The overall top seller receives a jam box. This is all for sports. Now with more news. Angie Morgan. Angie? Thank you, Martha. Do you think there should be girls football at the Friends with Junior High? Find out after these messages.
jogging doesn't make you cool. It just kills you. Do you have something I can write with? Yeah, what do you want? A pen or a pencil? Oh, a pencil would do. That's a lot. Sure. Wow, this is a French Mustang pencil. Where'd you get it? From Mrs. Gibson. You can buy one from her. Just go by room five to get one. How much are they? The pens are 50 cents each. Pencils are two for 25 cents. And the notebooks are $1.50 each. Oh, thanks a lot. Hey, Gertrude, just got back from the cafeteria at the junior high. Did you know they were playing Friends with Update? It's totally radical. They know everything that's going on in that school. Best show I've ever seen. All the people there are working hard to bring you the news. You know what I mean, Gertie? You know what I mean? Hey, hey, come on, Louie. Becky, come on, Gertie, come on. Watch Friendswood Update. Watch Friendswood Update. Hello, everybody. I'm Ron Stone of Channel 2 News, inviting you to watch Friendswood Update. On KFJH, Channel 5 News in Friendswood. Hi, I'm Chris Meyer of PM Magazine, inviting you to watch Friendswood Update. Now, to keep up with what's going on at Friendswood Junior High, we hope you're going to watch Update. To keep up with the news in the Friendswood area, watch your Friendswood Update every weekday night at 5 p.m. Watch it on Channel 22. Everyone's talking about it. Be sure you see Friendswood Update.